Now, KSBW Weather. This is Phil Frame in for Tracy Henson, and this is the view from the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk. Lots of clear skies, although it looks like there's a few wisps of high clouds out there. Temperatures, well, only 60 degrees now, but look at that dew point. Very dry air. Dry air heats up and cools off quickly, so even though it's 60 now, things are going to change rapidly over the next few hours. And you can see we have temperatures in the 50s up to 74 in Big Sur, and then we do have a patch of fog. It looks like well to the northwest, according to Fog Tracker, but it doesn't look like it's going to affect our weather, at least not today. Here's the situation over the last 24 hours out over the eastern Pacific, and the jet stream is well to the north, and we are under the influence of strong high pressure aloft, very warm air, and with that high pressure, we also have an offshore flow, although the offshore flow is showing signs of weakening. However, before it does, we should get one more day of very warm to hot conditions, depending on where you're at. And according to Futurecast, this trend is going to change, but it's going to take its time. This is the high pressure over us today, and it's going to stick around through tomorrow before it starts to really move out of the picture later in the week. And then by Wednesday, we have this upper level low pressure area. This should give us some type of marine layer and that should really cool temperatures down especially along the coast and even extending into the inland areas now according to microcast you can see we are under the influence of the offshore flow this morning and that is going to change we'll see winds turn around become northwesterly in the monterey bay this afternoon i think they'll come in sooner than they did yesterday so should be a little bit cooler in Monterey, but still very warm. And then tomorrow at 4 p.m., we may even see some fog along the coast, at least according to microcast. We'll have to keep you posted on that. And then we start to see skies clear out again for Monday, but still an increased onshore flow should mean further cooling Monday along the coast and in the inland areas. Now, for the San Francisco Bay Area today, it's going to be another warm to hot one, maybe a few degrees cooler right in San Francisco, but everywhere else about the same, maybe a couple of degrees cooler in Gilroy, if you can believe it. It was actually 105 yesterday, so 101, still hot, but not as hot. And here in the Salinas Valley, a little bit cooler, but still very warm to hot with highs in the mid-90s. And for the Monterey Bay, just a bit cooler and maybe even a little more than a bit cooler if the sea breeze comes in a little sooner than we expect. But still, we're going to say 90 for Monterey today. And if you are planning on going out on the water, expect those east winds to become northwesterly this afternoon, but still only 15 knots. And then for the Santa Cruz County area, you can expect to see temperatures about the same, maybe a bit cooler, still very warm to hot. Next few days. We start to see a little bit of cooling in the inland area Sunday, further cooling on Monday, and then along the coast, same story, but we accelerate the cooling a little bit cooler today with further cooling Sunday and Monday. So one more day. Wow. Well, I don't know if I can handle the triple digits. I like just the double digits, personally. <laughs> yeah, but it's a dry heat. <laughs> right. No humidity. That's what we all tell ourselves, it's right? Low humidity. Just dry. Sure. <laughs> Thanks, Phil. Sure.